Yo ninjas and Kai and welcome to this new series of daily videos to level up your power moves. I will upload one video per day from December 1st until December 24th. In each video I'm gonna show you some exercises or a little combo to improve your power moves. We're gonna start easy in the first episodes so you can still follow them if you are a beginner as well and we are gonna increase the level step by step. The goal of this 24 video program is to improve your power move control and create new combos and opportunities with the power moves you have. Beside this program I'm also gonna post daily on Patreon from December 1st to December 24th in my daily Patreon videos, I'm gonna focus on how to be more creative with the power moves you have and with the combos that I'm teaching in these tutorials. So make sure to join my Patreon, link in the description, and let's start! So this is the second combo we're gonna see. It's very similar to the previous one that we have seen in the previous tutorial. The only difference is that we're gonna add two headstands in the combo. I'm gonna show you very slowly. Cutter freeze, side freeze. From here, push up into the headstand. If you need, bend your legs. It's gonna be a little bit easier. If you straighten the legs, it's a little bit harder to kick in this way. But if you bend your legs, you can push like this with your knees. So you can bend your legs to make things easier. Push and reach a head step. From the head step, we're gonna go back to the side freeze. And from the side freeze, shoulder freeze. Let's repeat it once more. Tatter freeze, side freeze, head step, side freeze, shoulder freeze. From the shoulder freeze, we're gonna do the same thing as we did in the previous tutorial. So, shoulder freeze, roll on the back, maintain the head on the floor and push back to the other shoulder freeze, left shoulder freeze, if you spin clockwise like me. So, left, and from here, same thing as before, side freeze. This time, we're gonna add one more headstand. So, from the left, side freeze, push, headstand, and go back to the side freeze. From here, side freeze, and change. So as you can see, the combo is kind of like the same as the last time. We're only adding the side freeze to headstand to side freeze on one side. And then same thing also on the left hand, side freeze, headstand, side freeze. Why are we adding two headstands in this combo? To get used to push up from the side freeze. Because in the previous combo, we just, from the side freeze, we just go to the shoulder freeze, so we go down. But in many power moves, you have to actually push up from the side freeze. Like for example, in the hellos, or even in the windmill to flare, you need to push up. So learning the side freeze to headstand to side freeze will really help you having more power when you push for hellos and windmill to flares or even more advanced combos like for example windmill to side freeze to handstand or to 90 to air flare, things like that. I'm gonna show it once more very slowly. Tatter freeze, side freeze, headstand, side freeze, shoulder freeze, roll on the back, shoulder freeze on the other side, side freeze, headstand, side freeze, tatter freeze. And repeat over and over again. Train this combo very slowly until you master it like this. It should look like a freezes combo, not like a power move. If this combo is too hard for you, keep practicing the previous one before, but there is also a way you can make it easier than that. I'm gonna show you how. From the tar freeze, we're gonna go to the side freeze, but from the side freeze from here, instead than pushing up to a head step, we're gonna push up to the head, however, but keeping our feet on the floor, kind of like a coin drop position, like this. And from here, we can go back to the side freeze, then to the shoulder, then roll, shoulder again, push, and from here, same thing. Go to a kind of like tripod position, like this. And from here, go back here, and turn. This will make the combo easier, but also a little bit more creative, maybe. Practice it slowly. Once it feels very comfortable, try to open your legs a little bit more, especially in the side freeze and on your back. From here, instead of bending your legs like this, try to open them a little bit more. They don't have to be totally straight. It's up to you, actually, if you can stay like this. 
very comfortable and if you're able to push up in this way it's good but you can still keep it kind of like this and from here push up you can push up to the coin drop like this or you can push up to the headstand like this when you feel comfortable doing it you should start adding more momentum and trying to make it look more like a power move let's do it gradually so don't start immediately with much momentum much power start very gradually i'm gonna show it in the coin drop version because i think it's easier especially if you are a beginner maybe using the headstand could be still hard so how to add more momentum from here turn faster and lean directly the right foot on the floor from here move the left on the side and try to turn meanwhile so don't do the headstand here but really try to turn clockwise so again from here turn and then from here kick this leg kind of like a flare in this direction and lean on the side freeze again again slowly from the tire freeze when you kick to the side freeze immediately you lean the right foot on the floor and keep turning in this way clockwise if you spin clockwise kick and directly lean lean catch the freeze again shoulder back shoulder from here side from here you can lift you can lean the right foot again first head turn jump on this other foot and catch again the same freeze the left and turn so like we did on the right side also on the left is the same concept when you are on the left side freeze lean one foot on the floor push up to your head try to turn clockwise and catch the freeze again and then keep turning gradually try to turn more and create a big circle with this move again do it slowly and then build up the speed with time be patient don't rush let's try to do the combo a little bit smoother but still slow Let's try now to do it even a little bit smoother and just a little bit faster. If you're able to add even more momentum and speed, it will look very cool and original. Remember, you can try the same thing without the coin drop position, but just stay with your feet up in the air and try to apply the same concept. Start slowly with just freezes and then try to add more momentum and try to turn in each transition. So even when you push up from the side freeze to the handstand, try to turn a little bit, almost like you are doing half of an arrow or something like this. To get more creative with this combo and with your power moves, join my Patreon link in the description. As I said in the beginning, we are gonna increase the level step by step if you want to follow this program and try these combos, maybe you can try to post your videos and tag me on my Instagram at KayoFalcro so I can check your progress about these combos and exercises and I will share your posts on my Instagram story. Doesn't matter if you do it fast, you can do it slowly. See you tomorrow with a new combo and new exercises. Yo Ninjas!